Good morning. We are about to whale watching. watching. I am a little prone to getting motion sick, so if you don't see me <laughs> a lot, there's probably a reason why. So we just got dropped off at Vallarta Adventures. We need to get ourselves checked in right over there. We're gonna go take on the boat. Let's get on the boat. We just left the marina and already see whales. It's a mama and her calf. While taking photos, an employee saw me and radioed the captain who then invited me up to the booth to get a better view. How lucky am I? This is our cruise director named Candela, AKA Sexy Mexi. He's telling us where the whales are coming from. These whales are either from Oregon, Washington, California, British Columbia, Canada, and right at the end, Puerto Vallarta and Villa de Bataille. 80% of these whales are born in Mexico. They live here for four months during breeding season and then go back to colder waters like British Columbia and Russia. These males are competing for the love of a single female by fighting each other, headbutting, and vocalizing. Silly boys. Female whales reach sexual maturity around the age of five and males around the age of seven. Females are about 45 to 50 feet in length, which is about six feet longer than males. These whales, they can dive from 300 meters to 500 meters in, in the water. Humpback whales average 50 to 80,000 pounds. They need about three to 5,000 pounds during the summer. To feed, whales will open their mouth and take in a large amount of food and water. The water is then forced through a strainer in their mouth called a baleen plate. This forces the water out, but keeps the food inside. They also create a bubble net by blowing bubbles as they swim around in a circle. This traps the food inside, and then they swim up from the bottom with their mouth fully open to capture as much food as possible. One of the cool things the guides did was drop a microphone in the ocean so you can hear the whales. If you decide to go on a whale tour, we recommend the little Zodiac boats because they can get closer. Just note, you need a very strong stomach, which I don't have, because they can get bouncy. Now it's time for some entertainment on the way back. No good, no good, no good. That was incredible. If you come down here, make sure you do the Vallarta Adventures Tour. Anyone, doesn't matter, they've all been so amazing. We're heading down to Bucerias for one last meal. Of course, and I had to check out the shops one last time on the way to dinner. Hey, but I found more vanilla to bring back as gifts. So we have made it to Mariscos El Vallo, which based on some internet research has 4.5 stars. Might be my last margarita of the trip. What did you get? Mango. Sorry, it was very cold. <laughs> Mango. We're starting off with a very healthy ceviche appetizer with some more octopus for me. And my shrimp sandwich wasn't that exciting. We hope that you enjoyed this Mexico series. We're heading home tomorrow, but next time we'll see you out in nature.